Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the podcast. The episode is called Fukuok Island because that's the name of the poem that I'll be reading today and talking about a little bit afterwards. The poem is actually one of my own poems. It can be found in my debut poetry pamphlet called It's All Gone Don One, published by Eberche Press in 2020, towards the end of 2020. They're a small independent poetry publishers based in Liverpool. And it was also included in the poetry book called Arrival at Elsewhere, curated by Carl, sorry, curated by Carl Griffin, uh, the poet Carl Griffin. And it was accepted for this book first, and this book contains poems from other poets such as Sean O'Brien and Rebecca Goz, amongst others. The two that I saw straight away, or that when I knew that they were in it, I was really happy to be in a book with them. But um, maybe a little bit more about that in a moment. I think the best thing to do is just read the poem. So anyone that doesn't know, Phu Quoc Island is just off South Vietnam, in between Vietnam and Cambodia, and it's a beautiful place. So Phu Quoc Island. While paddling in the shallow water by the shore, I watch an elderly woman shuffle along the beach, her bare feet sinking a little deeper into the sand with every step. She wears black gloves, a purple linen dress, a pointed wicker hat. She's a working woman, I know this, as does everyone else, from the bamboo balancing on her shoulder. At one end of the thin wood hangs a metallic bowl, a portable barbecue, barely lit. At the other swings a bag of uncooked corn cobs. Someone gestures and she drops to her knees, retrieving a box of matches from her pocket. Lighting the barbecue, she undresses a fresh cob, then places it on the metal grill above red black coals. I dunk my head under the cold waves and swim away from the sun loungers. The slip towels and sunburnt bodies from the barefooted grey-haired woman Painting the corn with honey herb sauce, I think I smell while immersed underwater. When I return to the surface, the current has pulled me a short distance from where I started. A construction site is in full swing on this new patch of shore, a new hotel, no doubt. A sweating foreman in trousers and shirt sleeves points his clipboard for the attention of the shirtless construction worker beside him. Not as still girders protruding high out of the ground, but two mongrels mating on the sand, a third dog looking on. So that's the poem, one of my poems. Like I say, it, it comes towards the end of my pamphlet. It's all gone done one, and it appears in Arrival at Elsewhere. I'll leave links if you're interested in either book in the description. The Arrival at Elsewhere book, I found out the other day, has been shortlisted for the Saboteur Awards 2021 and the category, I think, is for Best Collaborative Poetry Book. So, that's good and huge congratulations to Carl Griffin, he definitely deserves it. His name's on the front as the curator, but... To my knowledge, as being somebody that's been included, he did a lot of editorial work. And I know that firsthand because when I sent him the poem, it was written in prose, it was like a very short, short story written in sentences. And he replied saying he wanted to to use it in the book, but would I mind if he changed it a little bit, changed it in, in the way it was structured and the form of the poem? I said, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I was I was happy that he accepted it and was curious to see what he would do. And he sent it back to me and the poem appears both in the Arrival at Elsewhere and It's All Gone Don One as being a poem that consists of four two-line stanzas, um, unrhymed lines of poetry, two, one after the other, um, and then a single line of poetry, so four couplets, then a single line, four couplets, and a single line. And the reason he wanted to do this is because that's how 
all the poems look in Arrival or elsewhere. So it's just like one long poem in that structure. I've read the book, not from cover to cover, most of it though, sporadically. Um, but maybe, I, well, I'm thinking I'm going to review it as well, read it from the first poem to the last poem um, and highlight any moments that I particularly enjoy. Like what, Some of the stuff I've read has been really good and like I say, there's some really talented poets in there um, and some very successful ones too and others like me that are sort of starting out perhaps. Uh, all sorts of people, it's a very eclectic mix. So, and there's actually just a couple of words that are different to how it, the poem reads in my, in my book to this book, even though it's the same poem. Um, but that can happen, especially when, well, I don't know, it happened in this case. Another time I've been anthologised online, it was exactly the same. And that book, that poem's also in uh, my book. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to do more of these. I certainly won't be reading my own work all the time. Far from it, but I thought this might be a good introductory video testing it out. Anyone that knows me knows I'm not the best of tech, but I'll get there eventually. But this is episode one of the podcast, Fukuok Island. Thank you for listening. If you want to like the video or share it, you can. I'm not really doing it for those reasons, but I almost feel programmed to, to say that as I hear it so often on other videos on YouTube and similar sites. But if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment and I'll, I'll try and get back to you. But my vision for this podcast is just to use it as a platform where I can talk about the things I'm reading. My job involves me having to read a lot of literature and analyse literature and I love doing that. And I'm going to try and choose books and works that I think you'll like too or that you may have some idea of but haven't actually ever heard any of it so we'll see. I think in the next couple of videos maybe on Wendy Cope's debut collection, some Shakespeare, working a lot with Shakespeare at the moment so and there's lots to say of course I mean a lot of ink has already been spilled but um, I'm not writing I'm speaking right now so yeah, we'll see, and maybe some Tommy Wyatt as well. They seek from me that poem. I would like to do a video on that soon, and I'm sure I will, providing this goes up and it's all good. But thank you for listening. All the best, as always. Peace.